Hi there, welcome to another episode of Scrapping with Moose. Um, today we're going to take apart a power supply. Came out of a computer that I just scrapped uh, in a recent video. So, with these, we have a few choices. Uh, some people scrap yards will actually um, take them as a whole. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you, you trim all the wires off so you, you can sell that separately for you know, a buck a pound or whatever your scrap yard is paying. Um, my scrap yard, my scrap yards in Maine are, are, are very limited as to what they'll take, so I have to take these apart. Um, so let's let's take a look and see what's inside. I've already gone ahead and, and removed the screws. So I'm just gonna pry off the top. So we've got some wired iron here. Alright. And we spread this open. You can see you've got uh, quite a bit in here. We've got some copper, some aluminum heat sinks, more copper bearing motors, some other copper pieces in here, um, copper bearing motor, and a bunch more wire. So they're fairly quick to take apart. Um, I take apart everything, so I think everything's worth it. So, move some of the stuff to the side here, and start scrapping. There. Snip. All right. Just throw this with our steel. Copper bearing motor. Of course, in, in the scrapper world, that's a, it's a fairly loose term. Um, Scrapyards will call that. It may not be a motor. I mean, it could be a, you know, a transformer, but they still call it a copper bearing motor. So I'm just going to trim off this wire here. There. A little pile of wire there going. Alright, so now, I have a pair of channel locks here, and this is where we're having some fun. Copper bearing motor, copper bearing motor, gloves on here. Copper. Now a lot of these things they have, um, I'm actually not quite sure what they're called. Um, so if you know, please comment on the video. But it's like these little, these little round things. I have, it's a, it's a ferrous round part um, with copper wrapped right around it. And it's usually really, really easy just to get the, the copper out. Um, you just have to crack the iron with a hammer or something and then pull it apart. And usually it comes right apart. You can pull the copper right off fairly easy. So I usually take the time to pull those apart as opposed to uh, just throwing them in with the, the copper bearing motor pile. I do believe that is about it. Let's see, sometimes they have, yeah, sometimes you got these little components that are wrapped up in like black rubbery tape or something. Pull them right off and there's copper in there. So, that's it for that. You know, if, you, if your scrapyard buys um, circuit boards, you can sell them that. All right. You want to be careful with some of these things. Um, some of these little round bits, the, uh, the circle is made out of plastic, and if you squeeze them or break them, 
there's like a billion little sharp iron flakes that come out. That's quite a pain in the butt. Alright, so we've got one pound three ounce of steel. Got one ounce of wire. About four ounces of aluminum. Seven ounces of copper bearing motors. Alright, and lastly, we've got two ounces of copper that I pulled off of uh, the little bits in there. So that's it for a power supply. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.